to my channel. So I've created this look and this look is for going to the movies. I'm kidding. Okay, I've gotten several compliments as to the way that I do my eyeshadow and um, to, for work. And I really like it because it's so simple. It, it only involves three colors or maybe four tops. And it's just really all about smudging and putting an eyeliner. So I'm just, the only difference with this look is I'm using a lighter color and also I am using a uh, false eyelashes from a lure by Vegas Name. Anyway, that's the only thing that, that makes a whole lot of difference. Okay, so let's start. First thing that I'm gonna do is I am going to put on a makeup base and hell has frozen because I'm not using my favorite Holy Grail um, Embryolis Lake Cream Concentrate. This one is called the Natural Actor. Uh, it's, it's a makeup base and it has the same consistency as the Embryolis. It smells super, super amazing. Like, it has that kind of um, light smell and it comes in this color. It doesn't have any color at all, so you just put them all over your face. And I feel like the foundation, it gives you a kind of, with your foundation, it gives you a kind of dewy appearance. So I'm gonna go right ahead and apply them all over my, my skin. If you're actually, if you really wanna know where I got this product from, product from Pro Makeup Boutique and they have a store in Oasis Mall. Um, the owner is actually a friend of mine. I've become friends with her because we both have the same passion which is a love for makeup. She has also given me so many products to try on. I can't wait to show you guys. One of the things that she has given me is this brush. It's called the Artisan Brush. Excuse me, duh. This blender, it is called the Artisan Beauty Blender. It is latex free, which means that whatever uh, product you put in the blender, it doesn't absorb just like the beauty blender does. And it really, it's so fast when it comes to um, blending your face because First of all, it's a fat one. It's fatter than the Beauty Blender and it comes with a tiny baby one. Yay! Um, this one I use under my eye. Just do some baking in there. I call this the Mama Blender and the Baby Blender. And they're so cute together. You can get this as well in Pro Makeup Boutique in Oasis Mall. It's called the Artisan Blender. So for my foundation, I am using the Japoneski Luminous Foundation in the color number 7, okay? And then I am using this Morphe Palette brush and just putting the foundation on top of it. Using my Bedellium tools that I got from Namie's, it's in the number 957, I am using the MAC Fix Plus Spray and just spray like a little bit over it. And then the application starts. So I'm gonna apply the rest with my Artisan Beauty Blender because I feel like it's not blending that well. See the difference between using a brush and a beauty blender? Makes a whole lot of difference. But sometimes, I don't know, like it takes me such a long time to um, use a beauty blender to apply my foundation. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Smashbox Oil Primer. And I really like this because I find that w ever since I've started using this, my skin is so luminous and dewy on the flight. I'm not kidding. So just like two drops. Actually, make it four drops. I am applying it all over my face on top of my foundation. Okay, the next step will be about my eyes. I like to do my eyes first before my concealer just so any fallouts can be cleaned with the concealer application. For the primer, of course, I am using the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden, my Sedona Lace EB13 to blend the makeup base all over my eyelid. As you can
can see, I'm getting comfortable now into my video tutorial because my voice starts sounding like Tupac. So there's a trick that I've learned from other makeup artists and that is to actually use a setting powder uh, to set the makeup base all across your eyelid. It makes application for eyeshadow so much easier because whenever you do the windshield wiper motion, it makes the whole thing, um, it, it makes the colors, eyeshadow colors distribute evenly all across your eyelid. So with that, I am using the LA Girl Pro Face High Definition Matte Press Powder. You can use a translucent powder to apply that too. Eyeshadow that we're gonna use is I am gonna use the orange soda and I'm gonna use a big fluffy brush. The next eyeshadow that we're gonna be using is this color and it is the Anastasia Beverly Heels. Sienna and so I'm just gonna apply this with a MAC 217 and I'm just gonna put them uh, just where the crease of my eyelid is And the next eyeshadow that we're going to be using is the Makeup Addict um, Bitten. Okay, so it's kind of like maroon-ish, kind of purplish color. So if you can find something similar like that, so you just put them on top of where you put the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Sienna. But like a little bit in the uh, crease. Then going back with my Sienna color and I'm not adding any color on it, I'm just blending the top one. I'm using a Morphe 160. As you can see, the ink lot is a little bit moist and a little bit dewy because I have put, it is called Duraline and you can buy this in ink lot store as well. So just like one drop of these in the gel eyeliner and it makes the eyeliner so soft and easy to apply. Don't worry about not making the eyeliner super perfect because you're going to be smudging them. What? Okay, so the next step is obviously smudging the eyeliner that we've put and I've already made a huge mistake right here But that's okay as what I've said a while ago. It's okay to make a mistake with the um, 
the eyeliner because you're going to be smudging them anyway to create that bombshell look. So for that effect, I am using the Morphe the Morphe E36 brush and you can use any pencil brush to be honest. I like this one because it is super soft and it doesn't hurt my eye. Okay, so at this point, you have created a smudge eyeliner on the top. However, you need to use a black powder, and I'm using the Makeup Addict in Corrupt. Man, I am telling you, it is the blackest of the black, and I'm just using the same smudging brush that I've used. It's really, really, really corruptly black, so be careful when you use them. Just, like, use dip a little bit and then just spread them across your eyelid very 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 lightly I'm just dipping them once like literally bam touching the um, the top of the pan because this is how dangerously corrupt this color is if you're not being careful For my eyelashes, I am using the Vegas Ney eyelashes in uh, from Allure, and the eyelashes is called Grand Glamour, like this. So you guys can see um, how it looks like when I apply this. blend and I'm using the uh, same Artisan Beauty Blender And for the baking, I am using the Laura Mercier translucent powder. It is really, honestly, the best powder that I have ever, ever, ever used.
use a hair clip because the extra hair is bothering me across my temples and I don't like it. Okay, and then to blend that all out, I'm just using a blending brush, round brush from Sonia Kashuk. Next step is using the color for the under eye and to prove to you that the same color with Anastasia Beverly Hills Sienna is similar to the one with Makeup Geek Cosmetics Cocoa Bear, I'm using the Cocoa Bear for my bottom eye, uh, for my bottom lashes, just because I can. This area right here below my eyeshadow, I am just using the color Shima Shima. No, actually, this is from MAC Cosmetics and it's called Floof. Floof Idoof. corner of my eye. I'm just using this color right here and it's called Made of Gold. I've used this previously in my other tutorials. Okay, so to get this baking off, I'm just using this brush. It's the M529 brush. And it's so good at getting um, this powder off my face. Contouring, I'm using the Morphe um, Contour, which is the 9C. So I'm gonna use this color, this and this, and I'm just gonna like dip, 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 dip. <laughs> and then just like start putting them on my face. I'm putting them on the side of my temples. Did you guys notice that I didn't really use cream contour for this? Because anyway, I'm just gonna watch a movie with my sister. It's not like I'm gonna do some makeup session or do some ULR flights, you know? And I'm just using the lighter color to like contour my nose a little bit. So pigmented. For the highlighter, of course, I gotta use the um, Glow Kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Can I just stop highlighting now? Can I? Can I just stop highlighting? What if I just can't stop highlighting? What if it's, you know, my job in life is just to highlight? Anyway, so I'm just gonna like, you know, press everything with this pressed powder um, after all that drama with the highlighting. So, here's the thing, I bought three Huda Cosmetics, 
uh, lipstick. So now I'm very interested to try them out. But for this look, I think I'm gonna go for Bombshell. I got Trendsetter, Bombshell, and Medusa. Medusa, I am so obsessed with it. You guys have no idea. It's just a perfect shade of purple. And the thing that I like about the Huda Cosmetics lipstick is that, um, first of all, it doesn't settle into the wrinkles of your lips. lips is super amazing I don't even want to talk anymore because you guys need to see how it does not settle in the wrinkles of your lips love you Huda